Module 2 discusses the narrative and the chart format. The narrative. You are creating a detailed picture of the patient and event with your words. You should include a description of the scene, the mechanism of injury, and events leading up to the emergency, the patient's condition, the history of present illness, and the past medical history. You should also record any assessment findings in the narrative. All treatment rendered and the patient's response to that treatment should be documented. You should also document specifically where and when events occurred, including a where, when, and who for each intervention performed, such as blood pressures, uh, any cardiac monitoring, IV, all that should be included. Any changes in the patient's condition should also be noted, whether they improve or worsen. Any extenuating circum circumstances should be documented as well. Any extrications, a combative patient, need for restraints, any infectious or hazardous exposure, those should all be documented in your report. When using the person's own words to convey stated information, use quotation marks such as patient states they did not feel well. Then you should use quotation marks around patient states they did not feel well. Utilize and document mnemonics such as AMPLE, PQRST, AEIOU tips, ABFU, and ABCDE. The narrative. Make any changes in the appropriate manner, such as if you would make a mistake when handwriting, you would put one single line through your mistake and then initial would circle your initials after. Then rewrite your change. The patient narrative is not the place to document your personal opinions about individuals or interaction, interaction problems. Document only the objective facts and your presumptive diagnosis based on the facts in the narrative. Document interaction problems on a separate form. Chart format. C stands for chief complaint. It is what the patient patient or family member or caregiver tells you is the current problem, why they called 911 or scheduled a transport. If there is no information available, then your best guess as to why the patient needs evaluation needs to be documented in this section. Is this a transfer or a discharge? If a patient is being transferred from one medical facility to another or is being discharged from a medical facility, Documentation should include why the transfer is necessary and why an ambulance is required for treatment or care. Non-emergency patient transfers require the same attention to patient assessment detail and documentation as emergency transports. Writing general transport or transport to facility is inadequate. You need to have an actual diagnosis as to why they are being transferred. Documentation should include what care is the sending facility providing, such as their condition, their diagnosis, and treatment? What care will the receiving facility provide? And their mobility status? Do they need to use a cane, a walker? Are they non-ambulatory? H stands for history. Include both the history of present illness or injury and the past medical history. This includes such mnemonics as PQRST, AMPLE, Mechanism of Injury, AEIOU tips, include the pertinent positives and the negatives. Any statements the patient or spokesperson makes about the current event and past pertinent events. A is for assessment. Include a statement about how and where you will find the patient upon your arrival. Include and specify who and when for any information that that first responders relay to you about their assessment when assuming care. The primary survey, which also includes the A, B, C, D, and E's. The secondary survey, which includes a head-to-toe exam. Include both negative and positive findings and responses the patient has to your assessment, such as the presence or lack of pain and or the presence or lack of sensation. Include the results of any assessment Diagnostic equipment used, such as the ECG, pulse oximetry, capnography, blood glucose monitoring, etc. R is for treatment on scene. Include all treatment interventions completed on scene. 
Remember to document who and when for each intervention along with the patient's response to that intervention. Document the time, dosage, and route of administration for any medication given in this section. T. Transport document. Can also stand for transfer document. When you transported the patient, patient and whether or not you transported with lights and sirens. All treatment done en route to the hospital. Again, you would document who did the intervention and the patient's response. Also document any changes in the patient's condition while en route and also who you released the patient to. You would also document the status at the time of the transfer. The EMSA now teaches D-chart in the basic curriculum. The D stands for dispatch information received en route to the call and the E stands for exceptions such as ambulance being delayed due to breakdown or other circumstances. These can all be documented on your report. This is the end of Module 2. Please take the following quiz over Module 2.